Hey, hey, hey! Hey, Welcome to the Spitter Swell Beer Review! I am Jammer. I am Shagdog. This man right here is Shagdog. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing Egan, Schlosh Egenberg Rattler, naturally unfiltered, authentic Austrian Rattler. Right, and uh, apparently Rattler doesn't even get its own thing on Beer Advocate. They consider it a fruit and field beer, and I saw a different Rattler, which they consider a heavy bison. Whatever, so I'm like, okay. Uh, but it's 2.4 percent. It's considered a fruit and field beer, and it's from a Brownie Schlosch Eggenberg, which is an Austrian. Borsch, Borschdorf, Borschdorf, Austria. Yeah. And a rattler. You, uh, what's a rattler? A rattler is a traditional rattler. Is a beer blend with lemonade, sparkling lemonade, or lemon lime soda. So you can have either of the three going in. Most Rattlers I had almost had the lemon lime soda taste going in. Yeah. But this one being from Austria, it might have a sparkling lemonade or a lemonade. <laughs> lemonade or a lemonade? Sparkling lemonade. I don't know what the difference is between sparkling lemonade. Carbonated sparkling lemonade. Yeah. Uh, nothing really on the can for me to read or anything like that. Just a pint, nine yeah. ounces. Wow. Wow. It smells like... I do like how the can looks. It's, it's got a nice yeah, uh, almost, coloring. Yeah, with the egg thing, it almost gives me an Easter feel. Yeah. Well, even it's not, it's well if Easter. you think about it, it's kind of like a spring-type beer. Yeah, egg and burn, Summer, spring. spring. Yeah. Um, it's very cloudy. Yeah, very cloudy. Very lemony lime color, you know? Yeah. Like, almost like a lemonade. Oh, it does have that lemon lime smell. Yeah, it almost has a lemon. Like zest the zest, thing. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're thinking the same thing. You see that? We're all on the same track. Mm. The zest of the peel, you know. Yeah. It smells very citrusy. Yeah, so this one I'm probably going more with the lemonade and the, the soda, but we yeah. shall see. Yeah, and that taste. head is just a. Yeah, my head's going still. Egg yolk, uh, egg white type. Uh, yeah. Head that's kind of that's dying head. down. Mine's pretty fluffy still. So. Yeah, yours is still good. Well, let's drink, my friend. All right. Drink. Ooh. Very more, tart. Yeah, definitely not lemon lime soda. More of a lemonade. Maybe a little bit of artificial in there. I can't tell. It tastes natural, but it's a little bit artificial at the same time, yeah. Well, this says naturally unfiltered. So I would say it's more of a natural. lemon and lime lemonade yeah. type flavor. Mm. It's actually very good. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, nice sweetness. Refreshing. You know, rather means bicyclist. I guess they hand this out to bicyclists when they're doing well, presses. <clears throat> well, for some you know, these drinks right here, they're, they have alcohol in them, you know, but it's just, they're at, they're supposed to have like half beer, half lemonade, half yeah. or soda, right. you know, and they usually go with a citrus, like a lemon or a lime and so forth. But, yeah. And the shandy is pretty much almost the same, but the shandy is a, uh, Beer mixed with lemonade and or fruit juices, like they'll add other juices, like yeah. orange juice, apple juice, grapefruit juice. All of it's good. Yeah. I mean, I guess this is more light and refreshing, so you're still getting beer. And yeah. Well, beer mixed with some sort you of. You got to love beer to mix yeah. juices in it so you can drink more beer. Yeah. I mean, probably this is. You hear me? Yeah. So you can drink more beer. I mean, before all these other crazy. Drinks came out for women. This is probably one of the first. Hey, what if I take this nasty beer you men are drinking and mix it with some lemonade? And there you go. Oh, we're going to call This is that actually rabbit. pretty good. Yeah. Now that I put the lemonade in it. Yeah. yeah. Of course, you could just get vodka and put lemonade in it. Mm -hmm. Boom. Done. But beer is so much better. Why waste of beer? Plus, beer is carbonated. Vodka isn't. Right. It could be. Yeah. I mean, you put lemon lime soda in it. Lemon lime soda. Yeah. Not lemonade, but. Yeah. Very delicious, light, refreshing. 
Got a nice sweetness, good flavor. Um, Shag Dog, what would you give this Rattler? You know, I've had a better Rattler. That other German one we had, I think, one time was, I think, a lot better than this one. Mm -hmm. But that was more of an actual lemon soda, lemon lime soda, yeah. I think. Where this is more of a lemon aid. Lemon lime aid. Yeah. But it's not bad. I know I'm giving it a swallow. I'd give it a swallow in them. Yeah. For what it is, a, a B and minus as a rattler. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, just a straight up B. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not offensive. It's something different. If you want a little yeah. lemony lime. More lemon and lime. But a this bit. is is like the original light beer. Yeah. Really, because they took a regular beer and put something in it and made it lighter, basically. Made it lighter to where they could uh, still have a, a, a maintain that optimal buzz level of beer level. You know. Yeah, you have to drink about eight of these. Uh, equal, uh, well, once you get to the point where you're buzzing. Yeah, then you maintain it. Then you maintain it with this. Yeah. Plus, you get the natural juices where it's good for you. You get some vitamin C. You get vitamin C to fight the scurvy. Right. And then on top of that, uh, you're getting the the that uh, uh, the energy from the sugar. Yeah, so you can keep bicycling. Yeah, or working in the yard or whatever you know. Yeah, this is this is actually a very good beach type thing. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, yeah, because you won't get too hammered and you'll be able to won't stay. Won't fall asleep in the sun. Won't get dehydrated as quickly. Yeah, and you won't fall asleep in the sun and get burnt. Right, hopefully. Some people do that. Yeah. Then it ruins their whole yeah. time if they, off. If they use enough sunblock, they'd be all right, even if that happened. But... Nah. When the damage is done, it's done. Yeah, straight up being a swallow. Yeah, be my ass a swallow for me. Mm -mm. Not bad. Great. Are right. you excited to move on to the next yeah, one? Yeah, let me chug this down because i got to finish it on camera, right? Right. Of course you do, Shaggy. Now, we're going to go live, but we're going to wait. We probably should have done the first couple live, and, but we're going backwards. We're going we backwards. might do a couple live later. We just want to do some actual recording and editing a little bit. Nothing much. Shag Dog is learning to, to do some stuff with it and an editing program and stuff. Not really. I just wanted to... It help out. It saves us time while we're setting up the live ones because it takes a little time putting all the information in. Yeah, Whereas we're recording it, I don't have plenty of information. I just had to put this picture back here. That's it. Mm. Um, maybe on maybe what we should do for now, make this whole picture thing easier. Just put the Stuart Wild Beer Review logo back there. Yeah, that save us a lot of time there. Yeah, instead of putting the picture of the beer. That is true, and then. Uh, that have our logo. Yeah. Even though our logo's up here. Yeah. I can always remove that. Though. That is true. Anyway, um, we're going to move on to another wonderful uh, beer coming up. Oi. Oi. What is it? Zizzy 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 is that from Animal House? Or? No, that's the old, oh. old thing that they do when drinking. Oh, really? <laughs> All I remember is I went to my, my mom's boyfriend one time. I was probably about 12. Took us to a high school football game. And our high school in our town was Elmire Free Academy. His high school alumni was Sarah, Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. Cross border, you know, probably about 30 minutes apart, you know. But he took us to Sarah and watch football games. So we're going. We're luckily he put us to the academy side where all the fans were mm -hmm. for a kid. But there's this I'm guy down there. This is about the time Animal House came out. Maybe Boy, a year that, so. that, maybe a year or so later. My yeah. God, that's like forever ago. What year did that come out? Like seventy three. That come out that long ago? No. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna look at that. Probably seventy eight, seventy nine. That's what I'm thinking. 78. Yeah, it was maybe it's two two years, three, maybe three years later. <laughs> you see that? Boom! 
boom, hit it right on the nail. Yeah, but before you were saying early, so no, I was like, I was messing with you, uh, and then when you said we actually gonna look it up, I said it's probably 78, yeah. 79. So the football game was probably about 81, 82. Yeah. But there was this guy, he looked like John Pelucci. But he had an Elmar Free Academy Jack I had. He's like down there with a cheerleader. He's like, oh, get the crowd and the whole crowd go, oh, chitty chitty bang, bang, chitty chitty, ooh, 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 ooh. And then he repeat everything he said. And I was like, oh, this is fucking fun. <laughs> yeah. It's like 11 years old. Like, oh, yeah. oh. And we're kicking our ass. And that's when you first started drinking. And we had a great quarterback. And he ended up going to BYU. Brigham Young University. He's never played. He played one game, and he did pretty good that one game. Came in for the hurt quarterback. His name was Blaine Fowler, and he had a pretty good game, but he never made the NFL or anything. Oh, you should search his name. Blaine Fowler. And Let's see, look him up. See what happens. Let's see what happens to Blaine Fowler. Huh? Yeah, I might be able to see that whether he ever became something or not. Blaine Fowler, college football, men's college basketball, sports analyst in the Mountain West Conference for NBC, that's who he played for at BYU. That's what provides Alice for independent football. I was born in Provo, Utah. He actually was from Utah originally. And his parents are rudely located. Look at that. He's on Wikipedia, too. I know. Where Blaine attended Elmira Free Academy, he became a multi sport athlete, participating in football, basketball, and track. Isn't that funny? In high school. I, and I watched him when he played high school. Isn't, yeah, that, isn't that funny? He's on Wikipedia. I'm no, on Wikipedia. And I'm not. And you're not. That's fucked up. I'll be under someday. Life is good. Uh, he went to Brigham Young, where he would play 81 All right. 85. Wait, I want to see. Ron I'm bored Bos- with Brian. Robbie Bosco was knocked out of the game during the first quarter of the Holiday Bowl during against Michigan. And Fowler was sent in to play until Bosco returned during the fourth quarter. But he came in and did a pretty good job to the actual quarterback. He, that was like the only game he played in college, you know? Yeah. He was pretty good at high school, though. All right. Blaine Fowler. I had an uncle named Blaine. You had an uncle named Blaine? Yeah. Yeah, we had a couple kids go to college, but they never amounts. Uh, yeah, they never amounts to anything. Well, I had the Hamburg kid. I forget. Oh, his brothers, Derek and uh, I the other brother, Mike. Name. Yeah, Mike. One of them got, they both got in trouble eventually. Oh yeah, yeah. Derek and uh, yeah, whatever the other one. Was. I just remember Mike Hamburg. He. Uh, he might have been the youngest. Maybe. There was this girl that had her was laying her head down on her ta- desk, and he kept messing with her, and she just getting mad at him and all that stuff. Uh, and so he turned around and walked right up to her. Darren. Right right up to her while she was laying her head on the desk like this. And he whipped his, slapped it on the table, uh, on the desk, huh. right in front of her face. Did she like it? And the teacher, oh, my God. <laughs> he got arrested. Hmm. Now, that's Darren. He's the one play for the Cowboys and the Panthers. And he actually went to play for the Browns, too. But he got a check from the Panthers. And he screwed that up. But he said he lost it, and they gave him another check. But he cashed, a, cashed both of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he got in trouble for that. And then the other brother was in trouble for, like, drinking and driving or whatever. Yeah, yeah uh, people who should have probably never been given that there opportunity. Is, you know what I mean? Must be him and Dean. So there he is now, I guess. He's old now. You know what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. You're given an opportunity that most people would die for, and you squander it. You know? It's just ridiculous. And you do something stupid like that. You cash both checks. Right. What do you think? They're, they're not going to catch you on that? And why was it he become... Because one year, he led the Cowboys in tackles. One, he was with them for a couple of years, but one year, he led them in tackles. Mm. You lead a team in tackles, how come you're not a big thing after yeah. that? What happened to you? Because you couldn't uh, leave your boys. I mean, you, you, yeah. you couldn't leave that uh, that attitude behind. I guess. See, there comes a point where you, you can be buddies and friends with people, you know, when you're first moving up and everything. Yeah. And they may be your boys, your, your blood in, blood out type brothers, you know, blah, blah, blah. But there comes a time where you have to cut. Yeah. You get to a certain point or level, and it's like, sorry, I'm going to have to cut you all out of my life. Right. 
I, I love y'all, but I can't I'm be around. I'm on a different level you. I'm not, and I can't be giving you guys wanting shit. I'm yeah. going to do shit for you. And I can't go places that you go and do the things you do. I cannot afford to take that risk. Right. Yeah. Uh, you got to start hanging out with people who are like you, like mm. other football players. or Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe you take one friend with you. Okay, I want you to be my manager or my agent. Or well, something. Not, yeah, you can't be a manager or agent. You need a real manager or agent. <laughs> You can't have oh, and you can't have them handling what, your money. What about the, my door boy or my car? My car. Now that would be you know, and, but that's just going to cause resentment to a degree. No, well, would you be yeah. my door boy, my driver? See, I could do that. I wouldn't call you my door boy. Either. I could do that and not have any resentment. I'll give you me. a professional name for the door part. You somebody. know what I'm saying? My bootula. Uh, the, the the door uh, the door opener would be uh, you know uh, something like. Uh, Obstructionist removal yeah, specialist. Right, gatekeeper. You hear me? Obstructionist yeah, uh, removal secu- specialist. Security slash gatekeeper. I'm removing all the the obstructions in your way. Uh, you front, get into your house. Frontline security. Yeah. But, I mean, you can't have them handling your money. You can't have, you know, some of them will cause them to be resentful. Well, you look at the lady, uh, what was it, Mexican girl, the Tex- Tex-Mex girl. That Tex Mex music and her uh, fan club president killed her. She's oh, yeah, friends with her. Yeah. And she probably wanted more money or more or whatever. And she's like, ah, ah, the girl was more. crazy anyway. Yeah. But you might get somebody like that too. Yeah. See, you can't, you can't. See, I would have never hired her. Yeah, that's true. She was like, she a was maid. a fan club thing. Okay, fine. You do good with the fan club or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. You but, don't have to be in contact with me all the time. And, and the other thing is, I would if you're in charge of my fan club, I'm going to check up on you from time to time yeah. and make sure you're running it properly. I'm going to do a background check or two on you. Well, of course I'm going to do the background check, but I mean, I'm going to check on you anyway yeah. because I don't want my fans to be, you know, sending in money and never getting what they asked for. There's some people out there who become stars, football, movie stars, whatever, say that it's not a family business to move because a lot of people are family shit movies, but there's occasionally like the guy... Supposedly, that's in a Star Wars movie. He's a Marine, mm-hmm. went to film school, doesn't have family in Hollywood. But occasionally, you have people like that in there, and they even, like you said, I gotta cut you off. They even do that to family members, yeah. close family members, which I don't think I would do that in close family. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not gonna be giving them, oh, I just made eight million this year, I'm gonna give you four million. Yeah. I'm not giving you half, but, but on the other side, that's how my brother is. He's not gonna give you half. But if he wins a lotto, he's not going to give you – he's like, oh, I'll pay your house off. Yeah, so – That's it, yeah. You know? See, this is the thing if that I would do if uh, – if I say I won the lottery. This is what I would do. First of all, you got to bring your friends and family up with you because then they can do things with you and be there for you yeah. and hang out. Right. What good is it if I turn around and have all this money and don't have to work at all in my life ever right. again – and then my best friend, they're gonna be jealous of ha- you. Has to work all the time. Wanting stuff. Oh God, you don't have to work. Like you said with your one friend there, uh, which I didn't know he was the, the guy. You told me about him, but when he came into yeah. bowling, I, oh, what do you got? What do you do for work? Oh, I'm working on cars. Yeah. Oh, and I was like, I'm not, but I, I didn't know it was the guy who won a lot of working mm-hmm. on his own cars. Yeah, I thought mm-hmm. he was like working on his mechanic or something. Mm-hmm. But uh, but you know what I'm saying? You here you are. You know, what good would it be for me to continue to let you struggle right? and work a job or whatever like that? Yeah, and granted, if I want a small amount, there's nothing I can yeah. – really, I might be able to give you a little bit. Yeah. You know, say I want a fucking million dollars and have taxed at 700000 Well, 700000 ain't going to last long. No. Now, if I help you out, hey, Jammer, here's 20000 go towards your mortgage yeah. or 50000 or whatever, you know. Yeah. Of course, but, then you have to pay taxes on it. Anything over ten thousand, yeah. Gift, well, so. so, this is what I would do. Prompt. This is what Maybe I would I give do. Me ten thousand every year. What I would do right off the bat is, uh, if I want a big amount of money, yeah, I would want to take care of my family and friends. And how I would do that is, I would say, okay, like my sister, I would say, all your debts are taken care of. Yeah. X amount of money has been put in this fund for you. You don't technically have ever have to work again. However, it's in that fund, you know, Yeah. and you can't really take it out. Just, you know, 
willy nilly. You know, you got to be strategic about it. I'm not just going to give cash to I you. I like willy nilly. You know what I mean? I'm not just going to give you That's cash. Willy Nelson's a little brother. And turn around and uh, and, and uh, let you waste now, it. Now and I then would. I would tell you, I would turn around and tell you, look, this is the money I'm giving you. It's up to you to make sure you don't waste it. Right. Because you're not getting any more. Well, this, that, and that's what yeah. I would do. But if I want a big one, I don't need that much money. Yeah, yeah. That's so I'm going to take you, my brother, and my parents, mm-hmm. and that's probably about it, to Tallahassee or wherever we got to Tampa office to get the lotto. I'm going to say, all right, split this shit up four ways. So now you don't have to pay oh, penalty yeah. tax or anything. Yeah. I, I won $50 million, Okay, whatever it is after four yeah. ways. Okay, there you go. And there we go. I don't even have to worry about you asking for me money. You got your own money. No, same thing. If you blow all that money, yeah, yeah. Or if I blow all yeah. my money, I ain't coming back to you. Hey, do you remember that money I gave you? Of course, I know you'd help me out, but <laughs> I don't know you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I would. I don't think I. I I'm not a, a glamorous person, so I don't need a, a expensive car or. Well, the one good thing I would say is with you. Uh, Reinventing your life and reevaluating it to the degree that you have to where you're not focused on, you know, making money, a bunch of money or anything like that. Yeah. With you doing that, it's caused you to have to think about your spending. Right. And it's made you become more frugal. Yeah. But now Joe Biden has made me worse because. Gas prices. It seems like I'm not able yeah. to save money. <laughs> but what I'm getting at is that with with that new attitude and everything, yeah, I wouldn't be so concerned about you yeah. wasting that money. Well, even my young days, as far as buying a big giant house or a fucking hundred thousand dollars, I would never do that. But the problem, with, the problem with me would be going out partying, uh-huh. being generous, giving people money. But I ain't being that generous anymore. Huh. Matter of fact, yeah, it's fine to be good. Uh, it's fine to be generous to a degree. To help someone out, yeah. yeah. But someone is going to be, oh, they come back up, hey. Leeches. Right? Yeah, leeches or whatever, yeah. Mm. I wouldn't help anybody out. It hasn't talked to me in years. All of a sudden, they're coming out of the woodwork. Hey, I won the lotto. I, I, I need some help with this business I want to get started. Mm. And I'm like, sorry about your luck. I haven't even talked to you since what? 2000? Mm. 2005? Yeah, whatever. Well, you know how it goes. We just got separated. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the thing about it is, is that I, I definitely would have to help my family and friends to lift them up, yeah. because I want to be able to hang out and go places and do things together. Because yeah. that's where the real fun is. When you don't have to work, I don't have to work. Our families don't have to work. Right. And, uh, our other friends, you know, if and we, we help we, them. And we find some sexy women who don't have to work. Uh, then you're. You're you you're a, hey want to go to the beach this weekend you know yeah. let's just go down to uh, the Keys or let's go down to you know uh, Daytona let's just stay a whole to month the Bahamas. Yeah. yeah let's just stay a whole month yeah you know that would be the life well, that would be you know and that's why I kind of I don't know if I can go for a whole month maybe two weeks but you know what I'm saying yeah I mean you could you could if you wanted to yeah. that's why I like Adam Sandler because he brought his friends up with him. Oh, all those other actors. All those other actors that are with him, there were comedians and all yeah. that stuff. He brought them up with him. When he had success, he brought them up with him too. Yeah. They added to his success, and he added to theirs. Yeah. And on top of that, they get together and, hey, hey, you want to go to Hawaii? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm working on this script. You want to work out me work on it? You know, boom, boom, boom. And all of a sudden, you're making a movie down in Hawaii. But, uh, 50 first 50 dates. First dates, yeah. yeah. Who we'll helped to write that one? Oh, I forget the names. But, but, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, that's the kind of stuff that they do. Yeah, that's what And that have. would be fun. Yeah, good movies. His movies aren't as good anymore. <laughs> I, you know, they've never been, for the most part, you know, like Little Nicky and all that. I, you know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're kind of childish, funny humor. Which I liked them, you know, mm-hmm. Little Nicky. Uh, they're all right. The Dolphin one, yeah. Happy Gilmore, uh, I mean, yeah. Water Boy. Yeah, they're all right and all that stuff, and I, I don't have a problem with that. You know, Billy but, Madison is my favorite song ever in a movie. 
Billy passed the third grade. Oh, what a glorious day. Billy passed the third grade. The Billy Madison way. I love that song. <laughs> but in general, you know, it's good stuff. Yeah. All right, let's move on. His newer movie sucked. Though. I don't know, I kind of like that one movie he did. Uh, That's a jewelry one. Huh? A jewelry one where he's a jeweler. No, nah, I don't care for that. That one movie he did where he was, uh, he met up with his old friend and his friend left his life behind because it was so screwed up, remember? And they got shot at at the pool and all. Oh, really? yeah. You know the one. Uh, oh. Come on, man. You know uh, the thing. Adam Sam. Anyway, uh, Sandy Wexler. No, the do over. The do over. Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah I never seen that one. I didn't even see that one. The Meyer Wet Stories, Ridiculous yeah. Six. I saw. But anyway, movie Halloween. There I tell you, a movie to check out uh, that's just recently came out. Nobody with uh, the Better Call Saw guy Bob Oder Oderdeck or Oder whatever is how you pronounce it. Oderdecki. He's Polish. Oh. So would, uh, you know, it's Polish. Yeah, that might be a good movie. Um, and Mortal Kombat was pretty decent. Yeah, it was all right. I liked some I of the fight scenes. Killed one of my favorite guys. So yeah, who cares? He'll come back to life in the probably next movie. Mortal Kombat to rebirth. Yeah, he'll probably will. He'll probably be on the bad side. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Let's uh, get another beer. All right, let's do it. I'm Shag Dog. Jammer. Spit a small beer with you. Oh, we spit a small beer with you. We like beer. Often Im imitated. Never duplicated. Yeah. All right. We'll see you on the next one.